segment table base register, and the idea is the same as the base and limit that we have discussed in the process. So, yeah. isn't it same as dynamically link linking? I oh, know it's a different uh, uh, the idea segmentation. The reason why we use the segmentation is the, because the one and four are working together usually, which means the when the one is executed, always the four is followed. Okay? At that time, why don't we combine logically combine one and four and allocate to them to the next to each other in the memory? Okay? Then consider this one is the kind of the same process, but logically. So they have the one base and limit. But this is not a process base, it's a segment. So that is the reason we can use the different register. Did you that is that the segment table base register, yes. Did you say even for the dynamic uh, linking, uh, we just uh, use the module when needed? Yes, dynamic linking is you can, for example, when this one is loaded and there is the IO print at, then IO module is here. Okay, dynamically link. Link this one to the main module, main object file. That is a dynamic linking. If not needed, you don't have to worry about. Okay, but it still exists, and this one will be used for another one. Okay. So it, is, it is already in the memory. It may be, but if not, you can load. That is a dynamic load. Okay, when you need such a library. Okay, that is a dynamic the linking, and uh, this one is a segmentation for better performance. So if one needs the four, then it will load both together. Yes. For segmentation. Yes, right? next and to each other. Then the, we consider one and four as a one process. Right. So, but it's a different register information, so we assign segment base register, and segment limit register. But the problem is, how can we decide one and four should work together? And uh, what is the relationship between the module? So it can be determined by the, uh, you can consider some the code, in front of you can analyze uh, such a code or the global variable. If they are sharing the global variable, you can consider they are working together. That makes sense, right? Two modules, they use the same global variable, then you can, you can consider like that, okay? So, just like the, you, uh, the process, the process should be protected, so you can use the base and limit. Also, in addition to the segment, segment base, the register, segment the limit register, uh, we are going to use the uh, validation bit, so which means the, if the, um, if the bit is uh, zero, it's an illegal segment. It's a, hold on. Uh, segment bit, uh, segment table. So we are going to manage the segment table just like the MMU, the uh, process, uh, the memory management unit in the memory. We can manage the same the table in the memory that is the segment table. In the segment table, not only just the, the memory mapping, it manages the whether this segment is valid or not. Because uh, later, once the one and four is uh, the terminated, we don't need, okay? The, this one, this uh, segment unit. However, at that time, you do not free up or the unload the information in the memory. We still keep, but we change the validation bit in the zero if some certain process or the CPU, the instruction would like to access the, this one, check the segment table whether this address is a valid one. If that is set as zero, it's the uh, protected what is uh, in the invalid so return the in interrupt code error code so you can map you can protect such a the segmentation unit 
this invalidation. Okay. So in terms of hardware to implement a such a segmentation, so we can create the segmentation uh, table that has the limit and base also validation, the bit, okay, in the memory. Okay, it has the, the CPU, not only uh, it has a segment address. So for the segment address, it provides the limit and base. So using the limit base, so this is offset address. So by adding limit plus the D, whether this is less or bigger than the limit and less than the base, and if validate, access the uh, memory. Okay. Otherwise, it will cause the error. It's a fatal error. So in the interrupt. So this is an example of the such a segmentation. And this is a segmentation table. This so is a module that has been used. So each one, uh, segment is zero, keep the old subroutine part. And this is a scale root part of user function. This one is a main, and so on. So each one has the consists of each segment consists of the different module. OK? But it can be the group logically. And we will manage the segment table, so segment number, and there might be additional information such as a validation bit, the limit and base. Using the, this one, we can allocate the memory and access the data from the memory. Okay, so uh, today we are going to stop. Then the, the next class we will discuss about the pacing. So, so far we have discussed about the contiguous allocation. However, the contiguous allocation, as you uh, have realized, uh, this is not uh, practical nowadays. So we will see how to address the problem of the external and internal fragmentation. And then that is the solution is the pacing. So we will learn the new data structure for the memory paging in the next class. Any questions? Okay, so who will see you on Thursday?